Brittany Hoke. And I'm Tim Aaron for Bill Murray. Thanks for joining us. First at five, a baby in the hospital fighting for his life. His father now facing charges. Right, investigators in Meigs County say that five month old Lincoln had several bruises and injuries consistent with abuse. Today, his mother says that he is unresponsive and in critical condition at a Huntington hospital. News Channel 3's Dan Griffin joins us now with details. Dan, this is a tragic story. Yeah, Brittany, little Lincoln is just five months old, but he's already in the fight of his life. He was airlifted to Cabell Huntington Hospital Monday with injuries so severe, his mother worries he could be blind or disabled for the rest of his life. But the overwhelming fear in her heart right now is that he may not leave that hospital alive. And all you want to do is pick him up and tell him it's going to be okay, that mommy's here, and that she loves you. She loves you more than anything. <laughs> I hope that's my baby. That's my baby. Amber Burton is filled with heartache, waiting for her son, five month old Lincoln Bumgardner, to wake up. He's unresponsive and in, you know, critical condition. But if, like, they pinch him, the nurses pinch him, like, he responds to the pain, they said it's like he's in a light coma. Meigs County Sheriff's officials say little Lincoln was flown to Cabell Huntington Hospital with bruising and injuries consistent with abuse. His father, 32 year old Thaddeus Bumgardner, was arrested at his home in Middleport Tuesday on felonious assault charges. When it's someone that can't defend themselves, it becomes a, uh, it, it becomes more attention draw, I guess, to because of the, the child being involved in this. And I, we've not had anything of recent this this serious. Bumgardner was arraigned Wednesday, but is out on his own recognizance, though investigators and the prosecuting attorney didn't recommend it. For now, little Lincoln is surrounded by his family, holding out hope and praying for his recovery. The happiest baby in the world. Like, he was good. Like, he was great. You couldn't ask for a, a more perfect child than what he is. And I don't care if my baby's blind, deaf, mute, mentally handicapped, as long as my baby's alive. That's all I care about. Now, police searched Bumgardner's home looking for evidence in this case. We visited that home today looking for him. He was not there. The sheriff says they're still not sure how long abuse could have been taking place. But tonight, Brittany, the family says they're just focused on Lincoln's recovery, and they say he's got a long way to go. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Dan, looking at those images of him when he's happy and smiling and then how helpless and broken he looks is just really difficult, I'm sure. So sad. All right, thank you, Dan. If Thaddeus Bumgardner is convicted of a, the assault charge, Meigs County Sheriff officials say he could face anywhere from two to eight years behind bars.